Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Hold on a second here. I gotta play through it real quick. Hold on, it's loading a little slow. Now listen. That's insanity. Did you, did you understand what was being said in that clip? See, that's insanity. And I related well because I laughed when I heard that. Because throughout my religious life, see, because I was very religious growing up. I had been taught that. That song that he said, I've been taught that. Thinking I knew God. See, that's insanity. That's crazy. But that goes on in the churches in America. Not all the churches. I'm not putting down the true body of Christ. Not at all. My, my desire is for you to really see this thing. See how crazy it is. And to look at yourself and see where do I think that I think I know God at? And where do I um, not bridle my tongue? Because if I'm doing those things, I'm deceiving myself and my religion is worthless. It's doing nothing for God. 
That's what I'm trying to get across here. That's what I'm, why I'm bringing this study. Because I want you Christians to examine your Christian walk. It is so easy to look at somebody else and point out what they're doing wrong. Or it's so easy to get up on YouTube and say, you know, hey, I got it. I got it now. I got the new teaching now. I see these people. You know, yeah, you should depart from your pastor and you should do this and you should do that. And they think they know God. They think they know what they're talking about. And they don't. Remember I did that thing or the the clip on the elderly on older people that's why you can't go to no older Christian or no older person and start talking that jive time mess because they're going to look at you. What you going to tell me about life? You don't know nothing about no life. You just wet behind your ears. That's insanity to them. That's exactly what James is pointing out. You need Jesus Christ, the one who died on the cross, was buried. Then on the third day, he rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. His body ascended into heaven. That's the one that you need to pass this test. And as we go into verse 27, James is going to point out by the power of the Holy Spirit what true Christianity is. And you're going to see that. Examine, examine your walk in the Lord. See if you meet up. This has been Difference Maker saying to you and thanking you for listening in to James 1, Doers of the Word. God bless.